right. Look at those edits! I got roasted in my last video for analyzing a tryhard that you guys thought was trash, so I've spent the last 6 days going full sweat, dropping 20 bombs, and getting into the highest skill based matchmaking level possible, and boys, I am now in god lobbies with the best players I have ever seen, and I am not kidding. Wait till you see the players we are about to see in this lobby. This video is part of my series where I spectate random Fortnite gods, then talk about what they do right and wrong. It's a fantastic way to improve. Now when I say these lobbies have some of the best players, I've ever seen, I am not clickbaiting you. I have reached some sort of secret god lobby level that I have never seen before. These players are nuts. Now for those of you who don't know, 100% of my supported creator money is going to giveaways for you guys. To enter in every giveaway, just follow me on Twitter and send me a picture of you using code EXALTED in the item shop every two weeks. The more people that enter, the thicker these giveaways get. I just announced the winner of the world's fastest keyboard last week, and now I am giving away a Model O- gaming mouse. One of the lightest mice on the market. Now let me know in the comments what I should give away next. Finally, as we look for someone to kill us, my insane merch is available now and the first shipments went out today. I am using the best materials I could physically buy. My supplier told me not to do so, but you guys deserve nothing but the best. I am not kidding when I say exalted merch stays on when you Alright, I hear someone up here. Oh, that was fast. All right, Anonymous359. Let's see what you've got. I told you I wasn't lying. These guys are insane. I can already tell this player has very low ping. He was able to shoot and immediately place a build between him and his opponent, so he didn't take return damage. I think he hears someone. He shoots and immediately boxes himself up with his own box so that he doesn't get peace controlled, then edits a window and tries to peace control his opponent. He's very careful about his peeks because he can hear his opponent has a fully charged shotgun waiting for him. And just like that when peeking, he barely peeks so that his opponent has a harder time hitting his shots. For those of you guys that didn't know, you can actually break some of these things so that you don't have to pickaxe them and you can get the rocks out of it much quicker. Here he's going to go ahead and top off his shield. This is a really useful spot for when you leave tilted if you win it. Then he's probably going to hop in that truck and head to Pleasant Park to probably find more kills. Usually don't peek when you and your opponent can see each other through the builds unless you're a zero ping player like this guy is. Just place a bunch of floors and randomly pop out of one of the holes to surprise your opponent. But holy cow this guy's peace control is insane. He was finally able to find someone and he's going to go for some easy initial damage. You can use these rocks in any direction to make it impossible to get hit. Good move to stop holding the left peek, it's a huge disadvantage. And just like that, he placed a bunch of floors and edited through a random one to surprise his opponent, just like I said. Easy headshot dink, he's gonna impulse to close the gap so his opponents can't heal, but he rifted away. Interesting play to not go inside the ball, but instead wait for him to pop out so he can chase him down. After those first two shots, he should have placed the wall down before his opponent, that way he could have edited a window, peace controlled his opponent, and ended the fight maybe two seconds quicker. But regardless, this guy is insane. Flexing his insane edits. Oh my gosh! What? How did he box him? Oh, he missed his shot, the opponent is good too. He went for a peek, but his opponent got into the box. His opponent's just pressuring him and doing good. Attacks are busted, it's impossible to get away. His opponent won because he continued to pressure into his box twice before Anonymous could reset and place his walls down. So aside from poor timing on Anonymous' side, both players honestly did that fight almost perfectly. I see you, practicing his peace control. He 
He's gonna go ahead and bounce her to close the gap and engage in a 50-50 fight. 50-50 fights are never good, but if you get the first shot off, you'll usually win. I can also tell that this player is on controller, so he is probably very confident in his aim. His opponent got a tag on him, so he bouncered over to engage before Mortify could heal, which is a good play, his opponent might be good. Mortify makes a great play to go around with right hand peek instead of editing the wall his opponent is trying to take. It allowed Mortify to establish height so he could collect himself and figure out what's going on. Oh my god, his peace control once again! Great game sense, placing floor and pyramid all over, trying to predict where his opponent was going to go next. Honestly, great awareness. I think the person he's about to fight has been murdering the lobby, so this might get interesting. Good bouncer to get height. Then immediately trying to predict his opponent's whereabouts, but he's way too slippery. Still battling height. Almost peace controlled him. Ouch, his opponent has insane awareness too. Mortify doing a great job at running away to heal. Oh, you can only do so much about a rocket launcher. Oh, that wasn't his wall. He should have just instantly edited it out into a new box when he noticed. If you ever lose a piece of your box, just dip and make a new one. Great fight by both of them. Those were two absolute legends. Let's go ahead and see the final fight. Ouch, he got absolutely beamed. His opponent should bounce her over to him or at least spray so he can't get these heals off. Oh, nice triple edits. Wow, he's nuts. Oh, interesting play to break the pyramid and then put a wall. I've honestly never thought about that, but it's actually super smart. Great awareness. He took the wall before his opponent noticed that he hadn't placed it. Now he could confidently make that edit because his opponent also had a charge and it wasn't charged up. If his opponent had attack, his opponent would have gotten the first shot off. And if it hit for over 112 damage, he would have lost. But since his opponent had a charge as well, Little Pomp knew he did win that fight. The players up here at the highest level of skill-based matchmaking have been absolutely insane, but I'm up here too. So in 2021, I am officially going to go pro again. So I look forward to that as the content will be insane. Now, obviously there's always some bots in every single lobby, but let me know in the comments below if this video made up for the last one. Also, don't forget to join the Model O giveaway. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out guys.